Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another lecture on JavaScript. This time we are going to cover JavaScript operators. I am Muhammad Iqbal Bhatt and let us start. What are operators? Operators are symbols or keyboards that tell the JavaScript engine to perform some sort of action. For example, if you want to perform addition of two numbers, then there is an addition operator represented by a plus sign to perform that operation. Similarly, there are different kinds of operators available in JavaScript to perform different kinds of operations. These are categorized into different categories. So let us see them one by one. The first category of operators are called arithmetic operators. Arithmetic operators, they perform the usual arithmetic operations such as addition, subtraction, multiplication and so on. Let us see the number of arithmetic operators that are available in JavaScript. In JavaScript, we are having five kinds of arithmetic operators. These are simple and usual operators that are used to perform usual arithmetic operations. So first one is the addition operator, which is represented by a plus sign. It performs addition of two numbers. Since all these arithmetic operators are binary operators means they operate on two operands so the usual usage of these operators is operand then the operator and then another operand so this represents an arithmetic expression where we are having two operands and a operator the operator this times is plus so it will perform addition of operand 1 and operand 2. Similarly in order to perform subtraction we are having a subtraction arithmetic operator which is represented by a minus sign. For multiplication we are having multiplication operator which is represented by a star. And to perform division we are having a forward slash which represents the division operation. So if you want to perform division of two numbers, you want to divide operand 1 by operand 2, then the syntax for that is you will write operand 1, then a forward slash, and then the operand 2. Similarly, there is a special arithmetic operator that is called a modulus operator. The modulus operator, it is similar to division operator, but it uh, gives the the remainder of the expression. So in modulus modulus operation we get the remainder and in case of division we get the quotient. So here we get the quotient and in case of modulus operator we get the remainder. So these were the arithmetic operators that are available in JavaScript. Now let us move to another category. The second category of operators are called assignment operators. An assignment operator is used to assign values to the variables. So let us see the number of assignment operators that are available in JavaScript. In JavaScript we are having six types of assignment operators. The most usual and commonly used is the first one which is called an assign operator. The purpose of this operator is to assign the value of right hand side variable to the left hand side variable. So for example if I want to assign 20 to x then I will write it like this. So this expression in this expression the assignment operator will put the value of 20 inside this x variable 
second assignment operator is called add and assign it is a shorthand to perform addition and assignment so first we are performing addition of two numbers and then we are assigning that value to another variable but if the destination operand and one of the operand in the addition operation is same then we can merge them with the help of this add and assign operator so this way we can write it like this x plus equal to y so this expression is equivalent to this one similarly if you want to perform a subtraction and assignment but provided there is an operand which is common on left hand side and in the subtraction operation so for that we have a subtraction and assignment operator similarly for multiplication we are having multiplication and assignment operator and for division and remainder we are having these two operators so we can say that these five categories of operators are complex operators which combine the operation of an assignment operator and the usual arithmetic operators now let us move to another category of operators the third category of operators are called increment and decrement operators as name shows these increment or decrement or value of some operand these operators are very commonly used in the expressions and in the looping constructors so let us see the increment and decrement operators that are available in javascript in javascript we are having four types of increment and decrement operators the first one is plus plus and then the operand so this is called pre-increment operator pre-increment operator in what does this pre-increment operator does it first of all increment is the value of this x by 1 that is x equal to x plus 1 and the updated value is then assigned and used in the expression so for example if I write y equal to plus plus x and say for example the value of x is initialized to 2 then since we have used a pre-increment operator it will perform increment on this x that is it will perform x is equal to x plus 1 which is having two previous value so the result will be 3 and that 3 will be assigned to y and similarly we are having post increment operator the post increment operator is similar to pre-increment with the difference that it uses the value of x first in the expression and then increments the value of this x so in the previous case if we are having x equal to 2 and then we perform this operation result equal to x plus plus this time first the value of x will be assigned to z which is previously 2 the z will be having two value then this x will be incremented by 1 and its new value will be 2 plus 1 is 3 so this is how we use pre increment and post increment operator similarly we can use the pre decrement and po post decrement operators which are used to subtract a number from a variable x and then use the value of x or use the value of x then decrement it by 1 these are equivalent to increment operator the only difference is that they decrement operand by one value so these were the increment and decrement operators that are available in javascript let us now move to another category the fourth category of operators are 
called logical operators. These are typically used to combine conditional statements. So these perform the logical operations which we study in Boolean algebra. So let us see the logical operators that are available in JavaScript. In JavaScript we are having three types of logical operators. The first one is called logical AND operator. And this logical AND operator is used in conditional statements. So for example, if we have two Boolean variables x and y, and then we perform this logical AND operation. It will give result true only if both x and y are true. You might be remembering the truth table for and uh, gate. The truth table for and gate is we have x and y, we have x and y. So if both the values are zero, means false, then we get the result as false. If one is false and another one is true then we get again the result as false. Similarly, if the first one is true and second one is false, we again get the result as false. And in case both x and y are true, then we get the result true. So same operation is implemented in this double AND operator, which is called a logical AND operator. It returns true result only if both x and y are true otherwise it returns a false value. The next logical operator is logical OR which is equivalent to OR gate and you know the truth table of OR gate. Here I will write the truth table of OR gate. This is x, y and then x, OR, y. 0, 0, 1, 1. So if both the operands their value is equivalent to 0 then we get the result as 0 which is false. But if one of the operands is true, then we get the result as true. So in the second case, we are having y true, so result will be true. In the third case, we are having x equal to true, so result will be true. And in the fourth, uh, fourth case, we are having both values equivalent to true, the result will be true. So if you want to perform such kind of operation, why do you want to check whether left hand side or right hand side of a logical OR operator is true? In either case, you want to get the result of the expression as true, then we can use this logical OR operator. Then the third operator is called a logical NOT. This logical NOT is a unary operator. Unary operators are operators that operate on single operands. So they do not re require two operands to operate on. So what does this logical NOT does? It inverts the result of this operand. So it returns true if x is false and vice versa. So these are the three logical operators that are available in JavaScript. Then the fifth category of operators are called comparison operators. The comparison operators, they are used to compare values in some Boolean fashion. Let us see what are the comparison operators available in JavaScript. So there are eight types of comparison operators that are available in JavaScript. The first one is called double equal to. This is different from the assignment operator equal to. So double equal to operator, it checks if x is equal to y. If we are having two variables x which is 10 and y which is 20. So if we want to check whether the value of x is equivalent to value of y, then we can use this comparison operator. It returns true if x is equal to y and false otherwise. But 
this equal to operator does not check the data type of the operands in case if you re you require that you want to check whether the value of the operands is equal and at the same time their data type should also be equal then for that we have this triple equal to sign operator it is called an identical operator it compares the result of two operands x and y but this time not only the value of x and y is checked but their data type is also checked if they are having same data type and same value then it will return true otherwise false then we have not equal to operator which is used to check if x is not equal to y and not identical operator we check us if it returns true if x is not equal to y and the data type data type of x is not equal to y similarly we have less than operator we check us if the value of x is less than y then returns true otherwise false greater than operator we check us if x value of x is greater than y and less or equal to which is equivalent to less than and equal to operator it checks whether the value of x is less than y or value of x is equivalent to y so similarly we have greater or equal to operator we check us whether x is greater or equal to y so these are the eight types of comparison operators that can be used in different expressions the last category of operators in javascript are called string operators which we have already covered during our practice time so what are string operators these are the operators that perform some operations on strings these are specific to strings so let us see the operators that are available there are two string operators first one is this plus this is different from the arithmetic addition operator the arithmetic op addition operator performs addition of two operands but provided those two operands are numbers whether floats or uh, integers but if this operator is used between two strings it concatenates those two strings that is it adds the contents of string 2 at the end of string 3 uh, string 1 and then we can assign this value to some expression or we can print it so it is an overloaded operator that performs two operations one in case of numbers it performs arithmetic addition operation and in case of strings it performs can concatenation operation then we have the last one which is concatenation and assignment it is a shorthand to perform concatenation and then assignment it first of all performs concatenation of two strings and then assigns that uh, string to another string but remember here also that in order to use this concatenation and assignment operator one of the operands must be repeated in the assignment and the addition operation so these were the different kinds of operators that are available in javascript so now it is practice time let us practice these different kinds of operators using different code snippets and see how they are really used we are back in visual studio code let's create a separate folder for this practice session inside our javascript exercises folder create a new folder and name it operators now inside this operators folder we will create another file and name it index.html this is a blank html file now let us populate it with the basic html skeleton using our html5 boilerplate now get rid of these comments 
now we will be writing our script inside the script tags let us put a heading at the top javascript operators put a break and now we are ready to go now let's start let's start with our first category of operators of many operators let us put a message at the top javascript arithmetic operators now let us declare some variables since all the arithmetic operators are binary operators so we require two variables where x initialize it with some value say 30 where y and initialize it with some value say 5 now let us see the result of different arithmetic operators let us declare another variable result first addition result equal to x plus y so this is the basic arithmetic operator addition operator which performs addition of x and y and the sum is then put in this result variable let us display this result document dot write x plus y is equal to and here we will put output the result now let us start our live server and see the result on the browser so here it does here is the result x plus y is equal to 35 before that let us display x and y x is equal to plus x and y is equal to plus y so we are having x equal to 30 and y equal to 5 now x plus y is equal to 35 so it is simple operator now let us copy these lines again now let us see the result so we are having x equal to 30 and y equal to 5 so we get x plus y 35 x minus y 25 x multiplied by y 150 x divided by y that is 6 this gives the quotient of then x is divided by y then x modulus y that is 0 this means when we divide 30 by 5 we get 0 remainder and that is the result which is shown by x modulus y so these were the simple operators uh, called the arithmetic operators now let us see some more operators assignment operators so what are the assignment operators the, these are used to assign values to the variables so we were having six different types of assignment operators so let us see them one by one the first one was assign operator which is sim simple that we have already used while degrading two variables x and y this assignment operator is used to assign the right hand value to the left hand variable so for example if we declare somewhere z equal to 50 or x so now here we have used this assignment operator the value of x will be assigned to z so this is the simple one then next one was this operator plus equal to add and assign so this operator adds the result of two variables and then assigns it to the left hand side so for example if we are having x equal to 50 and y equal to 20 and we want to perform this expression x plus x equal to x plus y so we want to add y to the value of this x since 
as I told uh, during the presentation in order to use these kind of operators the left hand operand should be repeated on the right hand expression so same is the case here x is repeated we are assigning the value x plus y to x so we can use shorthand operator x plus equal to y these two expressions are equivalent let us see the result let us initialize the x is equal to 50 again so that we will get the same results and y equal to 20 why i'm doing this because when we execute this statement it will update the value of x and we won't be getting the same result that is why i'm reinitializing them with 50 and 20. And let us see the result so here x equal to x plus y is giving 70 and x plus equal to y is giving the 70 these two expressions are equivalent so we can make use of these shorthand assignment operators similarly we can use x equal to x minus y for that we can use it the shorthand subtract and assign operator as x minus equal to y so it will get the result of this expression we can print it x minus and here is the result x minus equal to y is 50 similarly we can use other assignment operators for uh, multiply and assign division and assign and modulus and assign they are same let us see one x equal to x modulus y so for that we have shorthand x equal to x modulus equal to y so we can write the result so this will give us remainder when x y divides x so this is the result x modulus y equal to 10 so these were the simple assignment operators so we were having same six category uh, types of assignment operators and they are easy to use next let us move to increment and decrement operators pre increment post increment pre decrement and post decrement operator so this let us see with the help of some examples x equal to say 20 and i want to perform this operation y equal to plus plus x so x is initially having 20 as its value and i am assigning plus plus x to y so this pre-increment operator first of all increments this y this is equivalent to x equal to x plus 1 and then y equal to x so y should have 21 as its value so let us see the result the expression is y equal to plus plus x and the result is so we are having 21 as expected now let us see this one z equal to x plus plus so this time first of all z will be equivalent to x which is having value 20 so z will be having 20 value then x will be incremented x is equal to x plus 1 so x will be 21 so this time we are performing x 
z equal to x plus plus let us see the result 21 so z is having value 21 Why is that having 21? Because we have already incremented x. So new value of x is 21. So that value is assigned to this. It will be 21. And then x will be incremented and its new value will be x22. So this is a simple increment operator, pre and post increment operator. Similarly, we can use the decrement operator. So here we are using the pre-decrement operator. So this time x is 20. The first x will be decremented by 1. So next value of updated value of x will be 19. Then we are assigning x to y. y will be having 19 result value. So let us see the value of y. y is 19. Now again here we are first of all assigning value of x to z x is having updated value of 19 then we are incremented x by 1 so it will be having 20 so z should have 19 as its value so here is the value of z as 19 so these are increment and decrement operators and they are simple to use let us move to another category Fourth category was logical operators. So let us take two Boolean variables where now let us print out the result. Uh, let us create another variable and perform bool one and operation bool two. So as previously discussed, this AND operator will return true only when both bool1 and bool2 will be true. Let us print out this result. Document.write So bool1 and bool2 equal to false. Since both bool1 was true but bool2 was false so the overall result of this expression is logical expression is false now let us take let us change the value of these two to true both values are true this time the result will be true if both values are false again the result will be false this is how AND operator works next take OR operator so in OR operator if any of the two operands is true then the result will be true and if both the operands are false then the result will be false so since we are having both the operands false the result will be false so result is false again let us change their value one is true another is false this time we should get true result so the result is true now the third one is this not operator what it does it converts or it inverts the value of this boolean variable since bool one is false invert this false value to true and the result will be true let us print it out will be giving result true so bool was false and the result is true similarly if we take bool 2 which is true the result will be false so these are the logical operators let us now move to fourth category that is comparison operators 
so we were having eight types of comparison operators equal to triple equal to not equal to not double equal to less than greater than less or equal to greater or equal to so let us define few variables where a equal to n, where b equal to 50, where c equal to 50.1. Now first, let us see this equal to operator. So we will write, no, we will write, a equal to b. So, a equal to b. so it will print the result of this is if a is equal to b. A is 10, B is 15, so A is not equal to B, we will get false. So A is not equal to, A is equal to B is false. Let us duplicate this line again. A not equal to B. This time we should get true result. Again, duplicate it a double equal to this time we will be using the triple, uh, triple equal to which is which is used to check identity identical operator what should be result here since a is not equal to b let us put the same value inside a and b now according to this assignment operator a is equal to b this will give true but what will be result of this a triple assignment b since a and b both are integers and their value is also equivalent so it will return true true now let us see this it is again true why because a and c both are numbers since so in javascript uh, floating point numbers or integers all kinds of numbers are treated equivalent they are used in IEEE 754 format so these are having same value and same data type now let us see this result if i put it inside quotes now let us see the result of a equal to c a equal to c a equal to c is true why is it true because they are holding the same value here is 10 and c is also holding 10 even though c is a string it is not an integer data type so in order to check the value as well as data type of these two variables we can use this triple assignment which checks whether the two variables and their values are equivalent now let us see a triple equal to c it will give us false result because it first of all checks whether a and c are having same data which is the case 10 and 10 next you check us if the data type of this variable a is equivalent to data type of variable c which is not the case because c is a string and a is an integer so this is how to use this identical operator similarly we can use identical not operator this identical not operator it checks the contents of a and c if a is not equivalent to c and also if the data type of a and c is not equivalent next operator one is less than another is greater than less or equal to greater or equal to so if a is less than b if a is greater than b if a is less or equal to b so these are the four more assignment operator uh, comparison operators if a is less than b so let us put some different values 20 so a is greater than b 
so this one should show result false second one true third one is less or equal to so neither it is less nor it is equivalent so it will be false a is greater or equivalent a is greater but it is not equivalent so it will be true let us see the result so a is less than b yes no it is not a is greater than b it is true a is less or equal to b false a is greater or equal to b yes it is true so these are the eight comparison operators they are simple to use now let us move to the last one which is string operators there are two string operators one is plus concatenation and the second one is concatenation and assignment so for example let us take two strings ht1 equal to this what is your profession send to what is your qualification so now let us get create another string str3 and put the result of str1 plus str2 this time since we are using two strings str1 and str2 this operator will function differently it will concatenate the result of this first string with result of this second string so let us print it out on the right break so we should get result of what is your profession or and after that what is your qualification so what is your profession what is your qualification so this operator concatenates the result of these two strings now if i want to perform this operation i want to concatenate contents of this string at the end of this string and then assign there to string one again to this string one i want to change the contents of the string one so for that i can use this operation uh, expression but for there we have a shorthand which is str1 plus equal to str2 since this string and this string is same we can use the shorthand assignment operator this time in case of string in case of strings so we can write this one we will comment out this let us see the result document are right wait so what is your profession what is your qualification this is how to use these string operators this was all about different kinds of operators inside javascript